SpaceX has just proven once again why the company is so ahead of its peers. While the rocket industry has grown tremendously in the last decade, SpaceX has dominated the competition and exceeded all expectations to become humanity's biggest hope of becoming an interplanetary species. But how did Elon Musk and his company manage this incredible feat? Stay tuned as we take a closer look at SpaceX's recent achievements and how the company is employing shrewd business tactics to stay one step ahead of the rest. Space transportation companies faced significant challenges in launching rockets into orbit until recently. Carrying additional payload, even just two or three tons, presented an even greater hurdle. However, SpaceX has successfully transformed these challenges into routine accomplishments. The Falcon rocket line, known for its affordability and reliability, stands out in the industry. It possesses the capability to launch multiple times with various payloads, not just a few dozen or hundred tons. In a remarkable feat, the Falcon has achieved the milestone of transporting 1,000 tons into orbit within a year of its operation, setting a new world record. This achievement has astounded many, particularly competitors like Blue Origin and NASA. The question arises, what are the limitations of SpaceX, and how far ahead is the company compared to its competition? As the first light of dawn illuminated the coastal skies of California, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket left a trail of ambition and innovation in its wake. Proudly, Elon Musk announced on X that the Falcon has successfully delivered over 1,000 tons to orbit this year, setting a world record. Musk emphasized that this accomplishment surpasses any other country's rocket fleet, with the Soviet Union, at its peak, launching around 500 tons. In comparison, the rest of the world has contributed only about 250 tons to orbit this year, with China being the primary contributor. Musk expressed his confidence that SpaceX would not only maintain this figure, but continually enhance it through flights until the year's end. Earlier in the year, Musk had predicted that SpaceX would account for 80% of the total mass lifted to orbit in 2023, with China responsible for 10%, and the rest of the world contributing the remaining 10%. The newly announced record suggests that SpaceX is swiftly approaching Musk's ambitious expectations. Based on recent data, SpaceX has consistently led the world's payload mass to orbit for seven consecutive quarters, often with a significant margin. This year, the company further solidified its position by sending approximately 10 times more mass into space than its closest competitor, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, KSC, in the first two quarters of 2023. During this period, SpaceX launched about 24,950 kilograms of payload, while KSC launched 23,600 kilograms. In comparison, the Russian space agency Roscosmos launched only 8,100 kilograms. As SpaceX continues to accelerate its rocket launches, Elon Musk has confidently stated the company's goal. Based on the Falcon launch plan for the next year, SpaceX aims to deliver approximately 90% of all Earth payload to orbit. The prospect becomes even more ambitious with the introduction of starships into the equation. This fully reusable stainless steel rocket is designed to carry over 250 tons to Earth or orbit, potentially enabling SpaceX to achieve staggering figures of 10,000 tons or even 100,000 tons into orbit in the future. As for SpaceX's record-breaking flight, this wasn't just another routine Falcon 9 launch carrying satellites. It was a particularly special mission known as the Transporter 9 mission, where the rocket carried an impressive load of 90 payloads for various clients into orbit. These payloads included CubeSats, Microsats, and orbital transfer vehicles, which would deploy additional spacecraft at a later stage in the mission. While 90 payloads are indeed impressive, it's worth noting that SpaceX's Transporter 1 mission still holds the record, having launched 143 satellites in January 2021. Additionally, Transporter 6, which flew in January of the current year, was also more productive, carrying 114 satellites on board. Remarkably, all of SpaceX's rideshare programs have collectively deployed around 800 payloads in less than three years. This surge in shared missions has brought substantial advantages to the satellite launch industry. Traditionally, in shared missions, the smaller satellites must synchronize their launch schedule with the readiness of the primary payload, a larger spacecraft. Consequently, these additional passengers find themselves in orbits dictated by the larger satellite's timetable. Although this arrangement may sometimes affect their on-orbit performance due to the established launch operations, the upside is significant. The division of payload weight can lead to substantial cost reductions. Moreover, these shared missions offer more frequent schedules, enabling better planning of launch dates and target orbits. Notably, a satellite weighing up to 50 kilograms can enter space at a comparatively low cost, reaching as little as $275,000 thanks to this innovative approach. As a result, the transporter missions have garnered enthusiastic reactions throughout the commercial space industry. 
Satellite operators and rideshare launch brokers have applauded SpaceX for providing enhanced space access with numerous benefits, particularly when faced with limited options from other launch service providers. Todd Master, the chief operating officer at Umbra, emphasized the pivotal role that transport emissions play in the new space industry, stating, I can't understate what a critical part of the new space industry transport emissions are. On social media, he highlighted that entire businesses have emerged, enabled by these missions, businesses that wouldn't have been feasible just five years ago. However, not everyone views transport emissions in a positive light. Developers of small launch vehicles argue that these missions undermine their business models by providing launch services at a significantly lower per kilogram cost than their own vehicles. Some have even accused SpaceX of engaging in predatory pricing, alleging that the company is offering transporter launch services below its costs. During a panel at the Satellite Innovation Conference on October 17th, executives discussed the impact of SpaceX's line of small satellite rideshare missions on the small launch industry. Kurt Blake, former chief executive of launch services company Spaceflight, stated, They definitely control and have a dominant position in the market. SpaceX initially offered rideshare launch opportunities for small satellites at a remarkably low cost of $5,000 per kilogram. While the company has since increased these prices to $5,500 per kilogram and plans annual increases in the future, these rates still remain considerably below what dedicated small launch vehicles typically offer. Observers have noted that SpaceX could have maintained a commanding market share with higher prices, estimating that significant business could have been gained at prices ranging from $10,000 to $12,000 per kilogram. This aggressive pricing strategy by SpaceX is believed to have had a profound impact on the small launch industry, creating challenges for startup launch companies seeking investment. SpaceX's transporter line of rideshare launches primarily focuses on missions to sun-synchronous orbits, meeting the current bulk of demand. However, the company announced plans in August for a new series of missions called Bandwagon, which will target mid-inclination orbits. This expansion is gradually encroaching on what small launch vehicles can achieve, according to industry observers. They acknowledge that there is still room for dedicated small vehicles for missions to different inclinations, but the increasing capabilities of SpaceX's rideshare program are perceived as a potential threat. Concerns about SpaceX's pricing strategy for its smallest rideshare missions are not new. At the World Satellite Business Week in September, Marino Fragnito, Senior Vice President of the Vega Business Unit at Ariana Space, expressed worries that SpaceX's pricing was unsustainable in the market and could drive out other launcher companies, stating that such pricing levels were not viable for many companies in the industry. Adam Spice, Chief Financial Officer at Rocket Lab, acknowledged on a satellite innovation panel that SpaceX's strategies around rideshare launches do seem targeted at limiting the competition, stating, to a certain extent, yes. He highlighted that SpaceX's dominant position in the market makes it challenging for other companies, reducing the tolerance for failure. The Spice noted that SpaceX's seemingly unlimited access to capital and its ability to operate with unconventional strategies for extended periods create difficulties for competitors facing fundraising challenges. Other panelists echoed similar sentiments, emphasizing the importance of finding niches for their vehicles to remain competitive. Patrick McKenzie, Director of Government Business Development at Firefly Aerospace, argued that a one-size-fits-all approach may not be the best long-term strategy to meet diverse government and commercial needs. He cited Firefly Aerospace's success with specific launch missions, such as the Victus Knox response launch for the US Space Force on September 14th, as an example of capabilities not offered through rideshare launches. However, McKenzie stressed the necessity of maintaining cost competitiveness in offering such specialized services. Pablo Gallego, Senior Vice President for Sales and Customers at Spanish launch vehicle developer PLD Space, acknowledged that SpaceX has helped build demand for small satellite launches at low prices. Despite the competition, Gallego sees room for both dedicated small launch vehicles and low-cost rideshare missions in the market. He highlighted interest in PLD Space's Mura 5 small launch vehicle for dedicated missions that may not be served by rideshare options, emphasizing the vastness of the market and the potential for coexistence. While many are concerned that SpaceX is cornering the space launch market, others believe that the company has earned its place at the top thanks to the incredible technological advancements it has made over the years. What do you think? Is SpaceX the best option for orbital launches or should there be more diversity in the industry? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.